Hey everyone, this is my Patreon proud reaction to the 11th episode of Futari wa Precure. In last episode, Honoka stepped up and took care of some would-be jewel jewelry thieves. She didn't just like, you know, beat them up or anything, she taught them valuable life lessons and, you know, that they're not living their life correctly and what to do about that. So, Honoka being the best, as usual, nothing new there. And we also had like, the usual enemy attack and stuff, but that was of course far less far less than significant. So, also we just had Honoka spending time with her family in general, although that was cut short, it was quite nice while it lasted, for sure. So, yeah, plenty of good Honoka focus on that episode. I quite appreciated that. So, and of course now I guess I met up with her because they kind of have to to battle, you know, the Futariwa and the Futariwa Precure. They gotta get together and do some stuff, but taking that into consideration, it was definitely a heavy Honoka focus. But anyway, I feel like I'm going in circles, so let's just jump on into the episode and see what our Precures are gonna do. So, three. Two, one, play. Oh, we start with Beppo, yay. Oh, Goch So Sama, you're Meppo. Dogie's on the calendar wall. It was rough, wasn't it? I know, I was there. I watched the previous episode. It's kind of redundant. I just, I just talked about that. Now I guess I please try to keep up. Yeah, but we took care of him. It wasn't so bad. Well, I guess happiness is the biggest priority. I agree. Really? What? This is unchar uncharacteristic of you. I saw you avert your eyes. Oh. Aquarium. Sure, yeah, that could be fun. Pudicua, 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 futari de, cuba cuba, futari wa. Okay, I kind of messed it up, I'll admit. I actually said the wrong first word. Aside from that, it went fine. <laughs> so, Aquarium. I mean, I like Aquariums. I've seen plenty of good anime scenes at Aquariums before. Have you, Starlight, had an Aquarium scene? Shikaku. My best, my best. I thought I had more examples of aquarium scenes, but I can't think of any. Booty Q ah, booty Q ah, booty Q ah, booty Q ah, booty de Q a Q ah, footy wa. Booty Q ah, booty Q ah. They are precures, in case you haven't heard. Well, you can bring that up with your mother, I suppose. Mother on oh, chan said no. Hey, I'm busy saving the world, thank you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, my things are probably more important than yours, mother. No offense. I don't want to spend time with my obnoxious little brother. Why do you gotta be that way, mom? <laughs> Overruling me like this. Are you sure you want to go out with this girl? You may not survive. Just saying. Yeah, well, you missed a lot, Dad. Thanks for the help. <laughs> okay, here we go. There's some dadly instructional stuff. Yeah, so he helped. Good. Good job, Dad. You did contribute to the scene. I'm glad. The father teaching their truly good life lessons. Unfortunately, I forgot to move the subs to the top, it looks like, so I'll be looking lower. I know that I would like to, to read them. So we did bring Honoka, though, so that's good. 
<laughs> yeah, that's uh, Yuki Shiro to you. I mean, does he does keep losing? To be fair, <laughs> pretty much what I was saying. Yeah. Man, that savage brat over here. You can almost feel the butt hurt emanating from him. I think his time might be up soon. Prism stones, yeah, that's what they're called in this show. Thank you for reminding me. Well, I hope you never get them. I want to remember that name, but... Some things are just impossible. Anyway, back at the aquarium. Makes sense. How fancy. And of course, Honoka's reading up on it. As expected of our nerd. Are those? Yeah, they were, about to, they were upside down. They were actually swimming upside down. Oh, there's a Kurage Hime here. Are they gonna... Yeah, they just... They just kissed in front of everyone. How bold. Nagisa Honoka, you want to take notes on that? Not you two. I wasn't talking about you two. I wasn't talking about you two. They didn't even look over there. We are underwater. We're going to leave you here. Yeah, what am I looking at? Oh. <laughs> Uh, I... Do not eat the aquarium life, Nagisa. Yeah, that sounds more right. <laughs> uh, don't eat the fish, Nagisa. <laughs> yeah, show some appreciation, you ungrateful little brother. Yeah, of course you're against it when it's on you. I got the one girl in the background just enjoying the show. Hey, two and a half heard of those. Just keep swimming, just keep swimming. <laughs> now I guess that fish confirmed. Sex it explains so much. Oh god, he's in the water. He's in the water. <laughs> that kind of caught me off guard, I'll be honest. Here I am just enjoying the fish and suddenly that. How did he even get in there? Maybe the same way she got in there. Wow. <laughs> that's a that's pretty shocking, yeah. So you're gonna have to break through the glass to get to us, you know that, right? So is Only Tomak that's a mouthful. I think you're sneaky, muscly dude. I heard a whistle, maybe it's a dolphin show? What are you even doing, man? You're just... Oh, penguins! Penguins! And seals. Can we go back to the penguins now? I feel like I just got teased. There they are. Ah, uh, no, don't push them away! God, freaking seals. I was looking at the penguins. So, it's actually a little bit early for an attack. Guess he got impatient. Because <laughs> you usually expect an attack around 11 minutes to 13 minutes into the episode. 
Sharks. Fish are friends, not food. Sugedeke. Just be glad there's a glass between you and him. Otherwise, you'd be a dead. It might break from something else, though, and then the shark will come out. Oh, God! They really did. They really did smash it. I... I don't think these are normal sharks. Like, I thought maybe something else would break the glass and they would come out, but nope, they just rammed into it. Uh, yeah, now it's time to leave. Great aquarium trip, guys. Let's go home. <laughs> yeah, I guess... Yeah, I guess once they're out of the tank, they're not that scary anymore. But, so... Yeah, how are you enjoying the aquarium trip? You wanted to go on this, right, kid? Ah, uh, those, all those poor fish. <laughs> I don't think they wanted to stay much longer. They all, like, moved at the same time. That was kind of unsettling. Yeah, it's only how their mouths open, too, so... Yeah, they're quite clearly being controlled. This is very weird behavior, otherwise. Like, they're deliberately blocking the exit. From them, specifically, so... Oh, there's, there's something on your chest. <laughs> well, not, I think they didn't put in much of a fight. That thing, however, might. Although, there's not much water here, so I'm not sure what it could do. But, maybe that doesn't matter. It just seems to just be kind of flying, so what do I know about biology? Yeah, just find something to hide behind and we'll go pre-cure it up in battle. You could... Well, I was gonna say you could take Meple and Mipple with you, but we kind of need those, so <laughs> never mind. <laughs> TL no, Nagisa means Onechan. So, is he just kind of chilling here still? It's like his hair is a shark fin. <laughs> oh, there you go. Now he's ready to make his move. And now it's about the 12 minute mark, so... Yeah, right on cue. So... This might be his last battle. I have a feeling. No. Now what if we say no? I don't think he's taking that as an answer, guys. Oh, yeah, we are Sharknado now. Now, that thing could have probably eaten you before he noticed it was there. I don't think we want to know. <coughs> he, might, he might just, like, combine with all these dangerous sea creatures into one big old monster, maybe. Uh, what am I looking at? Oh my god. Oh my god, it's got its face inside. It. It's like somebody trying to cosplay Gura and failing horribly. For the love of god, run away. Anywhere besides here. Uh, that is just horrifying. I'm gonna watch a Gura video after this to cleanse myself. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Let's transform like five minutes ago. Slice. Every time I see that, it reminds me of the one season of Digimon that used the, the cards. And hand holding, then rainbows. 
I'm pretty sure that's how it works. Girls handhold and then rainbows just shoot everywhere. Ba bum 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 bum. Ba bum 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 bum. Ba bum 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 bum. Ba bum bum. Oh, okay. Because I started late. That's why there was one less than I thought there'd be. And now we're dressed for battle. I think my favorite part of the whole transformation is just that landing that they do. The kind of slow motion ishness of it. I don't know how to describe it, but. And back to this thing. <laughs> Can we just hurry up and kill this thing? I'm already going to have nightmares as it is. This thing's huge, too. Oh my god, it knows water gun. Uh, uh. Must be a mega evolved Pokemon. Yeah, you should probably not go over there, kid. Not only will you not be able to help, you'll get in the way. Possibly eaten. Oh, that scream. Oh, but she recovered well. As expected of our Lord and Savior Honoka. But yeah, you should not be here, kid. You should just go somewhere else. That that thing there, the second you see it, should be your signal to leave. <laughs> yes, that. That's pretty much what I what I meant, yes. But unfortunately he's seen him now, so getting away might be difficult. Oh. Uh Onechan catch you. Oh, not out of the woods yet. No. You are the best, Honoka. She just comes in their clutch, kicks the rock away. So you're alive. Are you starting to regret your decision yet to come here? He's not that much younger than you are, Honoka. Just, just throwing that out there. Yeah, you may have not wanted to have done that because you kind of pissed off Nagisa. <laughs> yeah, come at me, bro. <laughs> I don't think Mepel approves, but I do. Jeez. Oh, oh damn. <laughs> oh, God, Nagisa. Uh. Remind me to never piss you off. I think I saw a tooth fly. Honor got to come in and help. Honor got to come in and help. We are still a Futari. <laughs> I think we flipped him too. Yeah, you don't do that. You don't mess with family. Prepare to get screwed. You may know water gun, but we know thunderbolts. Which beats water gun any day. Did she just wink? Or I think she just wincing in pain, actually, because the strength of the pan hold, I assume. But anyway. Prepare to die, you abomination. Okay, this... Hopefully this is enough. This guy, he's a pretty tough boy. But you just shut up, you broken record. I swear you have, you have a single digit IQ. With terrible negotiation skills. And we, can, we can dial it up some more. There we go. Bye bye, muscly jerk. You are done. 
Oof. You know, before I was kind of on the fence about whether or not this would be his last fight, but once he pissed off Nagisa, I knew it would be his last fight. I mean, whatever they fight, like, directly, you know, it's probably going to be their end. But yeah, I'm sure Ryota's fine. A little banged up, but I'm sure it'll be fine. The man Nagisa. Oh, there's a prism stone. Well, a stone. Maybe a prism stone. Yeah, prism stone confirmed. It's actually quite pretty, too. So, there we go. One more bad guy down. We're still only on episode 11, so we're making good progress. But hey, Chung, where'd the giant monster go? I, I missed you, Nate Chung. Well, getting yourself killed wouldn't help anything. Uh, but I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> and Honoka just kind of watching. Oh, there you go. Then we can just put it on in. Or have him come out. <laughs> uh, don't look too salty over there, Maple. There you go, now I put it in. Yep, making good progress. On to number three. You're welcome. We're more than happy to help. Mostly because we don't want our world to be consumed by darkness. <laughs> it's like, what is he, like your grandparent that like, has to give you presents every time he comes to visit? Oh, Dougie. Yeah, why, why are you here? It's when I... Is when you're so close to Honoka. That well, actually was pretty funny. Uh, yeah, things don't change too much. So this kid seriously came over to Honoka's place like by himself just to get homework help. Well, there you go. I'm so glad we don't have to deal with that muscly guy anymore. He was kind of annoying. If I could, I would have wanted to get help me with my homework, too. I'll be honest. <laughs> Doggy got a little bit of screen time this episode. Just a tiny bit. Yeah, so far we defeated the guy with the crazy hair and the big guy, so we have three more left. Will we get our red-haired attractive woman next as our villain? Maybe. Probably not. Kudu. 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 Okay, that's... That's, uh... That's that. Okay. Okay. That was the 11th episode of Futari wa Precure. And this episode, we went to the aquarium, which was a pretty good time, you know, for the most part. Like, aquariums are pretty cool because you get to have this experience of sort of being underwater, seeing all this great, you know, 
underwater life because you usually don't get to see that because people kind of live outside of the water and a lot of it's just not visible so an aquarium allows you to get to experience that so that's why it's a pretty cool thing and apparently the mother thinks that her two children just spend more time together that Nagisa should be more sisterly I then I guess Nagisa doesn't really have much of a much say in this so she was kind of forced to go to the aquarium with uh, Ryota so that was, was a good sibling bonding experience I suppose right and we brought Honoka along because well Nagisa and Honoka are quite close and apparently apparently Ryota kind of knows her too I, I guess that was sort of implied I'm not quite sure how that works but you know calling her Honoka-san and going to our place for homework I guess there's some sort of you know, friendship there. I, I don't know. I don't quite get that, but I guess it's a thing. Anyway, we went to the we went to the aquarium and we had a pretty good time. You know, up until the point where sharks broke the glass and chased us. So yeah, that's when things went a little bit downhill. It was quite funny seeing our muscly dude just kind of swimming in the water because he 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 was like didn't even seem like he was out of control part of some of the time, right? Like I don't know what he was trying to accomplish there really, but eventually he made his move to like. I don't know, did he, like, brainwash or corrupt the, the sea life? It seemed like it, because we had them, like, acting weird, breaking through glass, blocking doors. So I assume he had some sort of control going on there with the shadowy Zakena, whatever it's called, stuff. I assume there was something about that. And then later on, he just, like, combines with the sea life and becomes the most terrifying thing we've seen in the show so far, maybe. Like, eel arms, shark face around his real face. Like, uh, I don't know if any of you are familiar with the, the Hollow Life English VTuber Gura, but she has, she has a character design where she has like a shark hoodie, where it's like a shark teeth and mouth over her real, her human like face. So it's, it was kind of like that, but not anywhere near as horrifying as that. So that was sort of an interesting thing, that interesting contrast in my head. So yeah, I'm not going to be able to unsee that for a while. <laughs> that, yeah, that was that was a thing. So, yeah, that was that. And Ryota, we had him like kind of hide out of the way because he's a normal human. He can't he can't fight an abomination like this. So the idea was to have him hide, and then you know our Futariwa precure would precure it up and beat him up, right? Pretty straightforward. Except for the fact that he came over like as people like him always do. You know, the superhero's like regular citizen, please hide, get out of the way while I take care of the dangerous things. And then a couple minutes later he just rushes into the middle of danger, like, hey, I'm here to help guys. I want I was worried about you. I'm here to help guys. And then, you know, he barely just doesn't get killed. He's he's that kind of character. And it kind of a lot of superhero shows, it has that kind of happen, right? Some stupid normal person trying to get themselves killed to be helpful in some some way like I was just worried about you and then just almost get themselves killed it's a little bit frustrating to watch like I I, I get it especially since he's a young child I get it but it's just it's just frustrating you know uh, but luckily you know he did not die he got a little bit banged up but that just kind of that just kind of fueled the Nagisa because yeah her switch was kind of flipped and she went into full berserker Nagisa mode and damn did she go ham on that thing just like punches and the kicks and the blows and just wow I kind of want to watch that scene again like, it almost looked like she was going to 1v1 him for a minute there, but but no, Honoka did have to help, and they once again worked together to finish off this big baddie. They got a new prism stone, they put it in the compartment, and we basically had a successful episode, yeah. <clears throat> We're one step close to completing our collection and saving both the worlds. The, what do they call it, the, the rainbow world, light world, the other world that Meeple and Meeple come from. Saving that, saving our world. We're, we're getting there, we're getting there. Two bad baddies down, like three to go, and then... Then uh, I think the big the big bag baddie we might deal with after that. I don't know. I'm not sure how that works, but we'll see. We'll see when the time comes. That's a while away before we have to worry about that. So, a yeah, really good episode. I quite liked it. Just yeah, just the anger and every all that emotion from Nagisa. That was that was well done. I could really feel it. I could really tell. Like, yeah, I, was I wrong or was I right about the implication? Because there was we had like some sort of like winking or wincing thing from Honoka. I assume that was because. Now, I guess I just squeezed the hand extra, extra hard because of how, you know, I uh, worked up she was. I assume that's what that was supposed to mean. Correct me if I'm wrong. It all went by pretty quickly. But, yeah, it was it was a great scene. Great episode. I quite liked it. So, that's that. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment. Because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.